So since the moment I first met you, I had an instant attraction to you. That being said, never could I have imagined in my wildest dreams that in 2020, some dozen years later, we'd find ourselves back in Perkins Chapel. And who would have thought that you invited me to your 30th birthday party would literally change my life for the better. When your birthday weekend finally came, everything with us just seemed so natural. I felt like we had known each other on an intimate level for a long time. But there was one singular moment that wiped away any fears, any reservations, anything I had. And that was when you went to drop me off at the airport. And it was at that moment, it hit me like a ton of bricks that you were the one. I've never had a feeling that intense, uh, that fast in my life. And I don't want to leave your ropes tonight. I'm falling, still falling for you. I just want to stay here by your side. I'm falling, still falling. Amanda and I met at college at SMU. We quickly bonded over a love for country music, theme parties, Ruby Red, Pure Bar, and ponying up. <laughs> you are such a bright spirit, a fun-loving and kind soul, a loyal and true friend. Whenever I think about Steven, the one word that comes to my mind because of that uh, is commitment. You know, when he starts something, he always finishes it. He always gives it his all. He's 100% loyal. Amanda, I know, I know he's going to bring that same level of commitment and vigor to you and to your marriage. Uh, and I'm just so happy for you on behalf of the family. When Stephen told me you guys were engaged, uh, I, did, I was doing a little older brother thing. I said, oh, Stephen, are, are you sure? Are you sure you want to get married? Are you ready? And in the most, with the most conviction, the most certainty I've ever heard from Stephen, he just said, nope, I know, Andrew. She is the one. And so. Uh, Amanda, from the bottom of our hearts, welcome to the family. We can't wait to welcome her in. She has three new brothers. She has a sister. We've, I, we've wanted more girls in the family. That's amazing. So Amanda and Stephen, reconnected on Amanda's birthday and that week Melissa gets a text from Amanda saying I think I've met the one so I don't know who's more nervous but he asked us uh, for permission to marry, to marry Amanda and since then we've had the pleasure of getting to know you we are thrilled that you are strong and brave thrilled that you are kind and gentle thrilled that you're a man of faith Melissa and I are thrilled to call you our son-in-law On behalf of Stephen and Amanda, welcome. I know many of you have traveled great distances and adjusted your schedules to be here with them today in this church, a place where, as Stephen said, where it all began. It's where he and I met when I was chaplain here. My name's Father Tony Lackland, by the way, for those of you who do not know me. If there's anything I would wish for you, is what is known as old love that endures the test of time. But that old love will not happen unless you two together nurture the gift of love that you found in prayer, coming to church as you did here, making it a home, and giving back to the community in which you were to be living. The Lord God said, it is not for the man to be alone. I will make a suitable partner for him. When he brought her to the man, the man said, 
This one, at last, is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This one shall be called woman, for out of her man this one has been taken. Let love be sincere. Hate what is evil. Hold on to what is good. Be fervent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Endure in affliction. Persevere in prayer. Do not be wise in your own estimation. Do not repay anyone evil with evil. Be concerned for what is noble in the sight of all. If possible, on your part, live at peace with all. I, Stephen, take you, Amanda, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and bad, in sickness and health, and to love and honor you all the days of my life. I, Amanda, take you, Stephen, to be my husband, promise to be faithful to you in good times and bad, in sickness and in health, to love and to honor you all the days of my life. Well, from ponies to poolins, it gives me great joy to present to you Lieutenant Stephen and Amanda Poo. I think this is a fittingly patriotic place for Stephen and his brothers and sisters in arms to be celebrating this marriage. I feel like new sunglasses, like a brand new pair of jeans. I feel like taking chances. I feel a lot like 17. The only words uh, of advice I have for the both of you is to make God and each other priorities above all things and all others. May God bless his marriage and grant them health, love, and happiness all the days of their lives. Like when I close my eyes everything I want in a wife. You've shown patience when I'm frustrated. You've encouraged and supported me during my difficult times in the Army. Your energy and love for life are contagious, and you literally light up every room you walk into. I promise to never quit on you or on us. I'll work hard to make you feel loved and appreciated every day for the rest of our lives, because that's what you deserve. Amanda, you have been the best friend through the years, my ride or die. I love you, and I could not be happier for you that you have found your person. I can't wait to see where marriage takes you both in life. Cheers to Amanda and Steven. I'll never turn from you and need someone to lean on or shoulder to cry on. I can't imagine going through life without you, Amanda. You are and always have been my one true soulmate. Like